Today is brought to you by the letter C for conversions. What's up everybody? This is Adrian Boysell and thank you for watching another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Today, I wanna ask you to subscribe. I wanna ask you to like, and I wanna ask for your commitment to continue to follow the content that I'm making to help your life become better because I wanna be a mentor, I wanna be a leader, I wanna be a support, and I wanna be a resource for you. So by now, you've already identified what your reason, what your why is, who your customers are, what their problems are, and how you're gonna solve it. Number two was all about defining your niche. What was the niche that your customers are in or who are the most likely people to do business with you, the low hanging fruit, all of that. And if you've missed any of these videos, you definitely need to go back and watch those. Number three was all about your brand. Who are you? What makes you unique? What makes you different? And how you're gonna build a connection to your potential audience. Number four was traffic. Everybody needs traffic to their websites, to their social pages, to their podcasts, to their YouTube channels, just like I do. That's why I need you to share this video. Traffic is really, really important. And number five is the most important, and it's the reason why you're doing all of this stuff, is to get some money. Show me the money, right? Everybody wants to make money and make money doing an online business. Remote laptop lifestyle. That is the whole goal of all of this, is to make money online from your home without having to go into a nine to five or go into an office. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about conversions, how to get conversions, how to nurture relationships, and the importance of those relationships. All right, so number one, did you know that over 50% of salespeople give up after the very first call? Just because somebody tells you no, doesn't mean that it's a no forever, it means it's a no right now. And so if you continue to give up, on every single sales call you make after the very first contact, you're never gonna get anywhere. No relationship was ever built that way. You see it in romantic comedies where the guy is asking the girl out on a date multiple times or asking the girl to marry him multiple times. It's important that you have a resilient personality and statistics do not lie. It takes between eight and 12 contacts to convert somebody into a customer. And it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes that can take eight to 12 months, or it can take six to 12 months, or it can take a day to 90 days. It just depends on what type of business you have. Not everybody is ready to buy right now, but making those repeated contacts, it's gonna help you stand out and increase your conversion rates significantly. And overall, what you wanna do is nurture that relationship by adding value at each one of those contact points. Not just expecting to ask them for something or to ask them for their sale, but it's the golden rule of the 80-20. 80% of your conversations with them should be adding value and 20% should be the ask. Another stat that you may not know is 89% of salespeople also give up after the fourth contact. That means almost nine out of 10 salespeople will give up. That means if you contact them 10 times or nine times, you're probably gonna be the only person that's continuing to contact them and continuing to have that ongoing relationship. And at nine contacts, you're gonna have a 90% chance of when that person's ready to buy, they're gonna pick up the phone and call you. That is a huge number, a 90% chance. Wouldn't you want that kind of success? There are multiple ways that you can contact somebody. It's not just by phone. Text messages are very, very effective. Sending text messages, sending videos, sending Snapchats, sending DMs through Instagram, sending Facebook messages, sending emails, visiting them face-to-face -face in their office and handing them a gift card or handing the decision maker a gift card or dropping off a gift to the gatekeeper. There's lots of ways that you can convert and nurture these relationships with people. Pouring into the people, offering value and continuing to be consistent in your approach of being a value-driven company and being a solutions provider. Not selling anything, but solving problems. That is what a good salesperson does, is their mission is to solve the problems. And if you believe you truly have something of value that is gonna solve their problems and make their life better, you're not bugging them. They need to be able to wake up and they need to be able to see that you're gonna be committed long-term, that you're gonna be consistent, that you're gonna follow up. And by showing that consistency and that interest in that relationship, they're eventually, they say persistence, wears down resistance. So you may not get them on the first time or the third time or the fifth time or the eighth time or even the ninth time. It may take you 10 times, it may take you 12 times, it may take you 12 times, but eventually you're going to get 
through to them if you're offering value. If you have an irresistible offer like we talked about, you have something compelling and you've built a connection, you built a relationship, you show that you're there for the long term and that you're there to build a real relationship with them, that you're not just there for their money because that's not what this is about. This is about you going out there and improving the world with what you do, making the world a better place, doing better brands, doing better designs, creating better food, creating better recipes, whatever it is that you do for a living, it's all about being the best at that and providing a better service than what they currently have. If you don't think that you can provide something better than what they currently have, then they're probably not the right customer for you. Maybe you need to start with something more simple. So that's my advice for you today. I wanted to keep this one fairly short because there's a lot going on in my world and I'm sure in your world and I know time is of the essence and I value your guys' time quite a bit. As I asked you in the beginning of this video, I need you guys to please hit the subscribe, hit the like button. I hope you've enjoyed this course, this five part series. You need to understand that nurturing relationships happens over a period of time, that there are people out there that aren't gonna buy right away and they may be six months out from buying. And so you wanna be that top of mind awareness type of person where when they come and decide to finally make that decision, who are they going to pick? 90% of buyers are not ready to buy it. And I think the statistic is actually a little bit higher than, I think it's like 95% of people are in research mode or just kind of discovery mode. So you need to understand the intent. And part of that is also understanding where you're marketing your business. If you're marketing your business on Google ads, the intent is going to be much higher than basically being on the organic listings or in the maps. People that are looking for Google ads and are clicking on Google ads have an, an immediate need and their intent is very high. With Facebook, it's a little bit lower. You're actually creating a demand and putting a message in front of them they may not even thought about. So you, not, you have to have a system in place to nurture those relationships and to get those conversion rates as high as possible. Conversion rates happen on the website, conversion rates happen through emails, conversion rates happen through uh, phone calls and through text messages. If you wanna have a lot of success, I would take an omni-channel, multi-channel approach and trying all those different methods. It'll really, really help you out if you can hit them on multiple platforms and multiple places like LinkedIn and Facebook and, and uh, Twitter and Instagram and show them that you're on multiple platforms, that can build a lot of credibility. So just be consistent, stay consistent with your follow-up and don't give up after the first, second, third or fourth try. You just need to remember that it can take eight to 12 or even 13 times for them to convert into a customer. And you gotta understand by asking the right questions of, hey, when are you looking to make this purchase? And asking those questions, and this is what happens with a lot of people, is they also forget to actually make the ask. Is they, they focus so much on providing value like I've done here, and then when they get to the end of it, and the customer goes, wow, this is great, so what's the next step? And they go, well, you know, uh, and they just keep talking and they don't actually make the pitch. When the customer starts to ask you, hey, yeah, so what's the next steps? That is a big flag of, hey, it's time to close the deal. So definitely don't miss some of those flags understand that that person may not be ready yet and you wanna ask those qualifying questions right at the beginning and you wanna convert these people. That's the ultimate goal of doing all this work and making all this movement and solving all these problems is understanding that you wanna convert this and turn this into new business and then get referrals and you want them to become a raving fan. So making sure that you have the process in place to offer so much value to them where they're just head over heels for you and by the time they decide to say yes, they are already sold, they already have just been a time and a waiting game for them and they're just ready to take the next step and make that commitment. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this. I know I shared a lot of information, but I wanted to make this valuable. I wanted to make this helpful for you and I just uh, really appreciate you guys being with me today. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and as always, keep looking up.